they talk a little bit of first practice, but I'm also talking a little bit about LaQuint making the move and you throwing them the ball and yes, how sir. different that is and stuff. And also your opportunity this spring with him being at wide receiver and stuff. And, and just talk about that being the first practice, how y'all, how you think y'all looked and, uh, you know, what you thought of today. Uh, I mean, it's certainly a good opportunity. I mean, that's exciting for me. Um, and then, you know, he's a great athlete, so we want him on the field. So whether it's a quarterback or a receiver or anything, I mean, he, he's someone that can help us. So obviously we're going to try and get him on the field wherever that, you know, he fits in. And, uh, I mean, as far as first practice goes, they were first practice mistakes. I mean, but overall I thought we looked – it was the best first practice we've ever had since I've been here, I feel like. So that's exciting. But, yeah, so it went pretty good. Yeah. Looks like he, he ran routes pretty good today, huh? How, how did that look for you? Um, you know, he's – yeah, he, I mean, he's shot. Like I said, he's an athlete, so it's not like he can't pick that up pretty quickly. Um, and then the more that he does it, the better he's just going to get. But see, the thing about LaQuentin is he understands it from the quarterback's right. point of view, and that's hard to teach receivers, and that's something he already has, so he has an advantage at that point. Talk about you. I mean, you know, you touched base a little bit. You know, they pretty much give you the ball this spring and, and, and run with it. I mean uh, – you know, you ready for this challenge? Yes, I'm, I'm excited. I've been waiting for it. And so, yeah, let's take it. Let's go. How do you grade yourself today, man? Um, it was, like I said, first practice. Uh, you know, I did some good I did some good things. Overall, I think I was, did pretty well. And then, you know, we're just getting back into it. There were a few just uh, rusty things that kind of happened. But other than that, I did pretty good. All right, I just appreciate it. No, uh, not, not throwing the ball catch and how, how that went for you today. Um, basically, you know, um, Coach uh, made a comparison to me. Uh, he said it's actually like playing quarterback without getting a snap. So basically that's all it is. Uh, you still have the most ability to make any play you can, you know, once you get your hands on the ball. And uh, like Coach said, he just want to get all his best playmakers on the field. And I'm, you know, willing to accept that role to better our team. Yeah, I mean, I've been here for most of the part. I don't think uh, everything that they threw to you caught. So, you know, I mean, maybe route-wise you might not be on, on task, but you, you definitely showed some hands out there. Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Um. You know, playing quarterback, you always have to be, you know, good with your hands and everything like that. And I have played a little receiver, you know, in my career playing football. And, uh, yeah, I'm not where I want to be, you know, at this point. You know, this this was a starting point, you know. Coach Anderson told me I've been working with him a lot and the other receivers. And, you know, we're just trying to make a transition into being a better receiving core. And I think I can help the team be there. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 judged, you played a little bit in high school. I'm sure you probably had opportunity to go to maybe a bigger school if you if you decided to play that, that position. Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I was I could have you know went to another school to play receiver or safety, you know, because that's what I worked out when I went to combines coming out of high school. But at um, just being in high school and playing quarterback, I just like to have the ball in my hands at all times, you know, to be able to make a play. You know, if the play breaks down, you know, I, I like to be in control of the game and. Playing receiver doesn't limit that, you know, it just gives you more opportunities to actually get the ball. Yeah, I guess the only difference too, a little bit more standing around on the sidelines waiting for your turn to get some reps, huh? Um, well, actually, um, <laughs> I, I expect Coach Stubbs to limit the, the amount of time that I'm on the sideline with wildcat formations and things like that. So it's going to be a fun time for me. I just look forward to just playing and having a lot of fun on the field at, at whichever position I'm in. Well, what are you thought of today? I mean, you've been here for this is your fourth spring now. I mean, couple now with Coach Stubbs, and what do you? I know it's always a, kind of a rough one, the first one now. But what you thought? Actually, uh, today, you know, um, honestly, I believe this was the best start that we ever had for a spring since I've been here, and I've been here for five seasons. And today was crisp, clean. You know, everybody was aligned and assigned in the correct positions and everything, and we just had a great tempo. You know, the defense was where they're supposed to be. Offense was aligned up perfectly and we just came out and had a great productive day for the first day uh we had a little adversity with the rain you know and not being able to get in practice yesterday but the way our team resilient against those um, conditions i think we did great for our first day all right like, coach i mean first day i know you had to wait and wanted to get it yesterday but you know rain pushed it back but uh, what are your thought of uh, your well, impressions you know i'm i'm pleased you know what i mean i know it was it's just we were chomping at the bit to get going so i'm glad the weather broke but i thought the kids came out there super attitude very coachable you know and also worked hard so I, i'm pleased with it you know it was a good start and we just got to build on it each day yeah hey, you know you've been in this business a long time spring is always kind of unusual to judge but is there anything especially in the first practice that you look for like to kind of think that things are going the way you want well, i think that uh, it all started uh, you know right at the end of the season we just you know uh 
you know, evaluated our program, evaluated as the coaches and players of where we are and where we want to be. And so we've been kind of uh, taking the bull by the horns for a long time. So starting now, that's not really like the first practice because you got to really uh, add in the strength and conditioning program, the mat drills we did in the morning, all those kind of things where they sweated and competed and did those things. So now we're just putting it together with a little bit of football, of course. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing now is if I can just sustain it through 15 practices and I always just cross my fingers and stay healthy because we could have already been a lot farther along had we stayed healthy. Yeah, yeah. Well, first day of the, the Quentin cast in the experiment, I mean, what did you see out there? I think it's going to be a good one, you know, the way it's going right now. He knows so much already as a quarterback, so he's got a good feel for what the quarterback's thinking. And so I thought for the first day having a, a young man play a, a totally new position, I thought I didn't even notice anything like he was a, a you know, a weak factor of it, not at all. And so I think it'll be something to grow on. And then, of course, after about the sixth or seventh practice, I'm going to slide him back at quarterback, you know, so that he freshens up. But it'll also save maybe some of the arms a little bit because right now with Bo being out, and uh, I'm going pretty much with Landry Klon. And, and I thought, oh, Hayden Carter hung in there real well today for the first for him. And he's just a freshman. So, you know, uh, I think that things are progressing well. But I just got to make sure. That's why I tried to schedule practices every other day so that there is a little bit of recovery time for those arms. But we'll make it happen. Yeah. Talk about Landry real quick. I mean, uh, you know, like I said, you're kind of giving him the ball this spring to run with it, uh, even though LeQuinn's still going to see some quarterback action. but. You know, what, what did you see from him? Well, first of all, I mean, I think if I know my opinion of Landry is, uh, boy, what a coachable young man. Very smart and very dedicated. I mean, he'll put in the extra time. He'll do the extra work to get it uh, to be the best he can be. And so I'm anxious to see him play. You know, I mean, I've seen him in games, and I thought one of our better games offensively last year was Central Arkansas. And I thought he executed the offense very well and did a good, very good job. But what we know, too, is for Landry to be successful, we got to have a very good supporting cast, too. And so that's where the other positions need to get get going, and, and they are. But the biggest thing, I really think, giving him more significant reps, I'll be able to have a true reading on exactly where he is by the time we finish the 15th practice. All right, Coach.